paraya na in those days the computer is all green and black screen yeah. and green <laughs> uh, so i have to uh, learn you know and then get getting through the manual and and, and then learn uh, which is also new to everybody on the rig so but i was lucky mm. uh, because i knew that for me when it comes to computer you know that i'm not afraid it will crash because crash means somebody can reboot or whatever this is my my in my little head eh? because I, uh, the, the computer is not going to explode eh? yeah, even right. if you press normally yeah. probably it's, 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 but a lot of people feel that we so after that then I went to join LDCN as a trainee uh, bus captain but this is uh, really the job itself is good but the the, the French guy who is supposed to be my mentor they are not really uh, they are not they are not keen to train you because they know that you're going to take, take over, over their, their job, their job. Yeah. Uh, that's so true. yeah this, this is happening yeah because this but they were forced by patronas yeah and plus the time i don't want to reveal who i work for yeah no need and then and then they cheated me on my salary mm -hmm. so i said oh man after i think i was there for about a year and i said i realized that uh there is no overtime you have to work when you do extra you there you don't have overtime but i have to work one month on two weeks off uh, which is yeah uh, yeah so that's where i get all this and i just i just keep trying you know yeah. then after that then i went to join santa fe so i work on two check ups the parameswara first year mm. when we were with uh Petronas and second year with uh, with uh, JVPC. Oh, JVPC. Yeah. Okay. And then the, I was uh, I was on the key Gibraltar, uh, which is good. I have two years experience on on the jack up. This is this had a small jack up where you can where you preload uh, high up. Uh, oh, I said now uh, I realize that. Uh, I, yeah, it was very, because, very scary, man. I tell you, uh, mm. you jack, you, <laughs> you because reload all the way when, up. Uh. When there is no accident in the industry, yeah. right? so nobody learn yeah. the actual stuff to do. Right? Yes. So what yeah. you guys did before is like, reload at a high air gap you know, oh, for, the, yes. uh, for the reason want to go fast. Uh, so correct, so there is no, correct. nothing to refer to that time. You know? yeah. The procedure yeah. is not in place. You yeah. know? So it's not like today that yeah. we have learned all the mm -hmm. lessons mm -hmm. from other rig. And then yeah. That's how we come up with a better procedure yeah, right yeah. now for safety. Yeah. Okay. There is a procedure, but these are just brief. Brief. You know, how yeah. how you get on and how which tank to fill up, know, to fill up for us and all that and how you look at it. In some ways, if nothing happened, that is really is good. It's like a bonus. It's, 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 it's good. It's good. <laughs> but luckily, uh, well, all went, went well. well. Uh, all went well. Mm. And uh, it was quite a good experience. After that, I left because there we have no more contract. And we finished our contract, so I I, I, I left. Any downturn during the time? Downturn of the oh yes, price. there there yeah, there is yeah mm. there there. And, uh, that's why uh, you know uh, sometimes when you get job and then you uh, what do you call it once once you finish the contract yeah, and once you finish the contract then. Then you have to walk, uh, and then you, and then they lay you off. Then mm. you have to look again around, you know, for the job. For the job, yeah. Okay. So uh, I was a bit lucky. And then after that, I think uh, I went to join. Uh, then I was jobless for three months, but I went up back to Mulu. Mm. I was helping my brother uh, doing uh, some contract work there in Mulu. Just, then, just to get over the yeah, downturn that yeah, time. Yeah. And then my friend, uh, who now uh, lives in uh, in the states, uh, you know, uh, called me up. In those days, there's already uh, a mobile phone. Uh, mm. and, uh, but so he called me and said, "Hey, Denny, there is uh, someone is looking for a 
balas operator oh, okay. for new build in in Singapore mm. called the West Alliance yeah? mm, okay West Alliance okay so I said okay so I came down and I wrote uh, an application and plus my CV and all that and I sent it to their office in in Miri and I said uh, I submitted on Wednesday so I got a call from Singapore uh, from Captain Bill which uh, Bill, uh, well, uh, Bill, yeah. Bill, Bill Wallace our okay. Uncle Bill yeah Uncle Bill yeah, <laughs> Uncle Bill. Uh, yeah. yeah uh, I met him Vietnam yeah, mm. yeah. Okay. so uh, Uncle Bill called me from Singapore mm. and interviewed me on the phone and he said as far as I'm concerned uh, I'll accept you mm. but I cannot promise you I have to forward this application to the management and, and give my recommendation to the management. So during that time there is no online interview, online, te on, online testing, nothing, right? Nothing. Not, online at the time still not so good. Not, not so, so good, good. Yeah. Okay. Just, just phone call. On, on the web, yeah. yeah, on, yeah. Okay. So he just called me and uh, I said, uh, okay, thank you. you know? But come Monday, the office in Miri called me up and said, can you come and bring your passport? Oh, wow. So I went down to the office in Pelita uh, Commercial Center in, uh, in, uh, in, in, uh, in Miri. Uh, and then I, it's about five minute drive from my house. Mm -hmm. I went down there. Lo and behold, I, I saw Mike Busher. Which, uh, oh, Mike Busher. Mike okay. Busher. Uh, I said, and then he looked at me. And so Mike Busher is the like an administrative. Yeah, he's the uh, administrative, uh, the yeah. senior administrative Deep manager major. for the whole fleet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, in in Malaysia for Tiaman. Mm. So he was glad to see me, and he said, "Oh, it's you." I said, mm. "We met in Mulu, you know." I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> "So okay." Uh, and he asked me, "When am I, you know, ready to go?" I said, "Can you give me one week?" I said, yeah. "I said okay." But after a few days, they said, hey, they want you in Singapore. Immediately. Yeah, <laughs> that's what happened offshore yeah. always, you know, in the rush. To help them, yeah, to, help to, help them, them yeah. uh, to start up and uh, a lot of commissioning, uh, which is really, really good experience. Was one, I met Bill there, so he was in Miri before working with, uh, with Setco. Okay. And he was working with Setco and then, so he... You know, when then we when we talked and then about the thing and uh, he explained to me what need what need to be done and all that you know yeah. so he said this new build is the best he said mm. you know like you yeah. and me know yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's it's nice to go because you can trace uh, especially sewerage uh, line yeah. and uh, still, the still, water still, line. still naked yeah, yeah. yeah you can so, see yeah. the line yeah, the yeah. Piping, piping system yeah you can and see then, uh, and then you know the critical valve, yeah. which one, you know, so you know the location, yeah, uh, you yeah. know, uh, being, being, you know, yourself experienced, then you know what, 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 you know, yeah. uh, what you're looking for. Yeah. And uh, I was, uh, and then it was good, it was good. So that's the first inclining test that I you went through. I went through. Yeah. Uh, he asked me, you know, come in the night, you know, you don't need to come in the day, come in the night, so we, I, I, you know, I can help you, you know explain to you about inclining test yes. and all that which is good you know once in a lifetime kind of you know all the new mm. build yeah so there so you, you go were, I you, met, you were on the rig like uh, you met me yeah and then then the first when we came out of the shipyard we went to Larut mm. my god that is a very very high platform mm. so we have to wait for the highest tide and when and then we ballast the rig all the way up to the pontoon you know it's a very very it's quite a critical. Uh, it's, it's a semi tender rig. Yeah, semi tender. Mm. And uh, we do, you know, you, you were there. Yeah. Front lift to put the mass, you know, to yeah. put the direct up. Yeah. Eventually, we, we succeed after waiting for a few days uh, mm. to get the, the right tide, you know, the right height to go on. And then after that, we, we finished the contract with uh, Exxon Mobil. Then we went to back to Singapore mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we left there and to the uh, TLP uh, then with the Hauser and all that and then uh, deep mooring mm -hmm. you know and, uh, and uh, I mean you, you know 
Yeah, yeah. And then and then that's where uh, uh, one one of the BC all left Chong. Mm, Chong. And then you came in. I came in. Yeah. That's it. That's yeah, it. You and become then, colleague. Yeah. Now, uh, yeah. from two thousand two uh, until now. now yeah. So what is it? Two thousand two. Eighteen years. Eighteen uh, years we know each see? other. So, yeah. yeah. And then. Uh, so how long we be working in Westline at that time? Ah, uh, from from start, you know, two thousand. 2001 until 2008. 2001 and 2008. So yeah. okay, then after that you left uh, West and then, and then not not long after that. Uh, I, I came again. <laughs> yeah, I came and see you again. Yeah. I came to see you. Yeah, this is, good, you know, you help me, I help yeah, you. Good, you know. good, good, good yeah. life in yeah, Batalong. Yeah, yeah. uh, it was it was great great experience also uh, yeah. from nothing to build the rig, yeah. and then you and me and then Richard, uh, all Malaysian Except crew. Below, yeah. We built the rig, we took the rig out, go for work. we work, and it was very successful. In yeah. uh, it was the most difficult, you know, yeah. it was the most difficult. So, so when when you join, I remember yeah. when we joined a yeah. new company yeah. called uh, UMW yeah. Standard Drilling, yeah. right? So everybody know UMW. Right? Yeah. So that time we are the uh, assistant barge master. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. we have four barge uh, assistant barge master, yeah. and Danny is one of them who selected to be a barge master. Yeah. You know? yeah. So. So yeah. we. And then so from 2008 came, more, yeah. you start working on Jacob again. Yeah, 2008, yeah, and then when that's when we and you know you and me were. Yeah. So you have been 2008 until now, the yeah. master. Bash master. Right? Yeah. So, so you see, not easy, yeah, to become yeah. a bash master mm. in uh, from, yeah. you know, from bottom all the way move up. Yeah. You know? and then you yeah. in between you encounter a lot of problem here yeah. and there on the break, you know, yeah. and the people as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Especially, I think, what to me, mm. I mean, uh, I think, uh, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, this is how I perceive this thing. Eh? Yeah. I think the, the job itself is not that difficult, but it is the people, mm. either your superior, all right. or your team, team, are the one that is, is, is uh, it, it, uh, they are the one that... Uh, they can contribute, uh, contribute to the operation yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. 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 Either it can be good, yeah. either a simple job can be difficult. Mm. If you had a good OIM, you remember uh, what was his name? Uh, Peter, is it Peter Ham uh, Hamster? Uh, Peter Hamster. Hamster. Uh, yeah. And Ron. Then, uh, Ron. Yeah. These are the two best OIM as well. Uh. Yeah. They leave the they job are, yeah. to us. They said, uh, when it comes to drilling, they said, yeah, I can, uh, I can uh, help. But, but when it comes to your specialty, mm. I am just there to observe. And uh, meaning to say, he, he keep a lot trust, of trust, trust to yes. the people. Yeah. And then what is wrong at the end of the day? How we fix it? Mm. And what was the, the what was the problem? Mm. He only reports to the rig manager. Yeah, yeah. And that is how you know he was. He's not at our back all the time. Yeah. You remember yeah, that? that huh? It was really good. You know? So don't don't get us yeah. wrong. You know, yeah. we're not saying these two are the best OM yeah. in the world. We're yeah. just saying that yeah. that this is the OM that have. Uh, they have to trust, trust those people and right. we can work really as a team yeah, and yeah. which is the operation went very well yeah yeah, yeah. and then you remember the fire mm, the fire yeah. on the rig yeah. the fire which we treated like in our real training, training. Yeah. Real, yeah. Real, real fire but it was like yeah. a training snap, snap. Oh, my fire. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it yeah, was yeah, exciting yeah, yeah. it was, that was yeah. really good actually yeah. the operator side is really impressed with what we have done yeah. uh, so fast we can actually put off the fire, you know. Yeah. With no incident, no, no, incident, no, nothing, further, yeah, yeah. no, no further, further damage. Yeah. No further damage. Yeah. It was yeah. really good, yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah so and training is important, right? Yeah. Training is important, yeah. yeah. And I met, uh, what was the name of that French guy again? I met him when I was on the PP101 with Hess in... Oh, uh, okay, Philip. Philip, mm, Philip. Philip. Uh, mm. yeah. yeah, he was good, you know. He was so glad to see me when I went to join. Uh, PP101, yeah, yeah. and then I work there. So meaning after UW, you join uh, I, uh, I left uh, UMW purely for, you know, just to take a long break to be with my son. Son, okay. And uh, he graduated. After he graduated, I knew that once he's working, you know, in yeah, the real world, in the world, I don't have time, time for, to, for them anymore. For them That's anymore. true, very true. So I, I miss a lot too. Yeah, mm. yeah. I took uh, seven months off. Mm. So two weeks after I left UMW, uh, 
Bram, uh, CEO of uh, our all our former boss, boss yeah. <laughs> called me up. Hey Denny, I heard you left UMW. What's the reason? So I told him. Uh, what, whatever what you said just now. Yeah, whatever I said just now. And then he said, uh, "Are you willing to come back to work?" And I said, "Yes." But next year, wow, June. <laughs> uh, we are building uh, PP101, PP102, PP103 mm. uh, at uh, PPL uh, CPR in Singapore. They said, you know, send me your resume. Yeah. You know, uh, send me your CV. So I, I, I was in Bali at that time. Mm. So uh, I, I called, uh, and then after that, I, when I came back, I submit.